Hi everyone, my name is Neela. I come from India and my family has a strict order. My dream was not in line with my family's ideology, so it was not easy for me. I will tell you what I had to do for my dream and what it cost me. In the meantime, guys, watch, listen, and enjoy. Like I said, my family is strict. My parents are conservative people. They're raising three daughters, of which I am the middle child. My older sister is long married and has a family, and my youngest is still at school. I graduated from school, and my parents told me to study to become a doctor. They say it's a noble profession, to save people's lives. I mean, I agree with that, but what if I don't want to do that? Against this background, we often had quarrels. I had to miss a whole year of school and not go to college just because we couldn't agree. My older sister, Rati, asked me to come to my senses. You too? I don't want to be a doctor. Why are you being so stubborn? Just go to college and see what happens. When you're old enough, you can go and work wherever you want. But the clock is ticking. What's your hurry? Getting married? You're the one who jumped right out of high school. I have no such plans. You're doing it again, aren't you? They won't let you work as a model. You are born in this family. You know what mom thinks. She thinks modeling is like, yeah, I know, but I'm progressive. I want to look beyond those boundaries. Why do they think I won't make it? Not all models are successful through the bed. Not all, but many. That's what mom thinks, and that's why, if you don't want her and dad to give up on you, the best thing to do is as they say. And then live like you? Rati lowered her eyes to the floor. I'd hit a sore spot. Sorry, I didn't mean to. It's okay. I didn't want to get married so young either, but I did what my parents told me to do. And do you think it's okay? You were sold like cattle to the first supposedly good candidate. My husband is a good man. He's almost the same age as our father. Is that normal? That's not what we're talking about here. This is about you. I'm worried, Neela. Please go to college and then we'll see. I found this ad the other day. A modeling school is recruiting new students. It's in the USA. I should try my luck. Are you crazy? How do you go there? No money, no connections? You don't need connections, just money. I'm an adult. I can't fly without my parents. All right, but where will you get the money? This is where you have to help me. With what? Just leave me out of it. You're the only one who knows about my dream and how I want to work as a model. Almost on my knees, I begged my sister. This was in our father's office, where there was a safe. He said he wanted to use the money to start his own business. I knew it was a bad thing to do, but there was no way out. I couldn't just stay there. However, Rati was against it. She said she couldn't be a part of the crime. I understood her, but at the same time, I didn't. A couple of days later at a family dinner, my parents brought up the subject of talking about my enrollment. Mom started getting angry again, saying that I was talentless. I sat and listened in silence. You don't want to study, then we'll marry you off. What? Marry? To whom? To Mahavir. God, Mama, he's just a tyrant, but the son of a powerful man. So what? His father works at the embassy. You know how their family treats women. His father beat his mother to the last moment so she'd bear him a son. How is that okay? It's his father. Mahavid is not so strict, and you've left us no choice. You had a whole year to prepare for your studies. If you don't want to study now, get married. You sold Rati, and now you're selling me too? Father pounded his fist on the table and said the conversation was over. He left. I left after him, getting up from the table. I ran into the garden and began to cry. Rati tried to calm me down, but I didn't want to see anybody. Our parents are going to visit Mahavir's parents tonight. I'm going to steal the keys for the safe first. What? You do that? You have a plan, don't you? Right? Yes, 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 I promise I'll do it. I'll make it happen. Go for it, sister. I love you, Rati. Good luck to you. Don't ruin your life with someone you don't love. My sister stole the keys from my father's room, and when my folks left, we opened the safe, and I took the money from there and flew to the U.S. At the modeling school, you had to give a lot of money for admission fees to pay for living expenses. They only accepted rich students, so I had to work very hard to be accepted as rich. Upon our arrival, a limousine picked us up with a group of girls, a private chauffeur, a fancy hotel, and a dinner to celebrate the arrival of the girls from different countries. Our mentors greeted us with a warm speech, and I looked at the diamonds and rings and bracelets on the students, like me. How nice that I brought my mother's costume jewelry with me. 
We paid for everything we needed. Then we were assigned to our rooms. I got girls from the US and Iran. We got acquainted. The Iranian one was a real bitch. We fought over the bed, but Jenny helped me get my own. Perry, Neela got in first, so that's her spot. Be nice. Gosh, girl, so much noise about a bed. Neela won't be here long anyway, so she can sleep by the door. What makes you think that? I can smell a fake from far away. She threw a leering glance at my costume jewelry, and I hid my necklace in my hands. You must have a lousy sense of smell. We'll see about that. I'm allergic to pauperism, and me next to you makes me want to sneeze. We had to go through three months of training. Every week we took gate exams, woke up early, went to bed late. Once a day of the week we were given a vacation. No contact with family was allowed for privacy reasons, because we went to the most elite, closed modeling school. It turned out to be harder than I thought, but what kept me going was my ambition and the fact that I'd risked everything to get here. The truth is, Perry went to great lengths to make every day a living hell for me. This girl was constantly picking on me, tripping me up, tearing my suits. In retaliation, I did pretty much the same thing. Finally, a month later, right in stripper rehearsal, Perry shoved me so that I fell and broke the heel of my shoe. Are you crazy? These were expensive! I told you she was a pauper. People like you don't belong here. We'll take care of it. I was hushed up. Another difficult month passed and we were approaching the finish line. At the elimination ceremony, five more people were kicked out. There were only four of us left and there were supposed to be two winners. The day before the last exam, the committee called me in. I was charged with cheating. They said that my parents had contacted them through the embassy. I understood that Mahavira's father was involved. I started crying, asking them not to kick me out because I was the best and maybe I could win and become a model. You are in the top four. You have done great and difficult work, but we don't want an international scandal. Our school has a reputation to uphold. Don't get me wrong. You cheated us. You forged permission from your parents. You stole money from them. And this embassy has now interfered. Understand? I had to leave school the next day. In the room, Jenny was trying her best to calm me down, but I couldn't figure out how my parents had found me. I packed my bags and couldn't believe it was all for nothing. I was so close to my goal. Perry came into the room, yawned, and sat down on the bed. Hi, poor pa. You won't be here tomorrow. At least you got a couple of months of comfort. You won't see that again. And you're glad because a strong competitor is leaving. Are you so afraid of me that you're glad to see me go? Who? You? Don't make me laugh. Perry got off the bed in a sloppy way and picked up her purse, where my papers fell out. Oh my god, did you call her parents? What? You bitch, you leaked me! During the fight, the handler and my family, including Rati, came into the room. My mom slapped me on the cheek and accused me of stealing, and I said everything I thought about them and why I did it. That's enough! I stole the money and I gave it to Neela. What? I'll pay you back. It's my responsibility. Radhi, no, be quiet. It was a long conversation. Radhi said that if my folks wouldn't leave me alone, she would divorce her husband and embarrass the whole family. Mother was furious, but she agreed, and they kept me in school until I graduated. Tomorrow is my last exam. I have to win. Wish me luck. Hi, everyone. My name is Samantha. And I recently learned a secret, and quite unexpectedly. This secret could have changed my life before, but for some reason it was carefully hidden from me. But now, everything has become different, and you will understand why. In the meantime, make yourself comfortable, don't forget to put likes, write comments, and subscribe to the channel. Perhaps you have heard about life in ordinary American schools, that there are class divisions. In principle, it is everywhere, I think. But it seems to me that in my school, this sucks more pronounced. Let me introduce you to this a little bit. In my high school class, there are girls like Edna and her entourage, three rich friends who are inseparable. They have money, popularity, looks, and boyfriends. They love gossip, dancing, clothes, and taking pictures. Then there are girls like Susie, cute girls. They study well, never wear makeup, and do not meet with guys or with anyone at all. There are three of them in my class. Then there is the majority. Girls from middle-class families, 
They sometimes do well, sometimes poorly in school. Some meet with guys, some even with girls. They sometimes hang out, sometimes get into anything, but more often, their lives are like Groundhog Day. The same every day. Well, then there are those like me, a hermit. I'm the only one like that here. I don't have good grades, friends, I hate gossip. I don't have a feminine sense of style. I don't care about money. All I want is to be ignored for the rest of my life. You ask why I live a life so boring? It's not boring. It just makes me feel more comfortable. When no one interferes with my personal space, I feel good. Then I do not have panic attacks and in general, I like to be alone. It's not that I'm not good at making friends, okay? Well, maybe a little. Well, it's not about that now. In general, I've always been like this. My mother often asked me why I didn't go out, walk, or get acquainted with people. And since I've been in high school, she's been asking more and more about guys, if I have anyone. I know she's worried about my orientation, but I have a tradition with this. But how can anyone like a girl who goes around in a t-shirt, top shirt, white jeans, and sneakers? And all the time. I've never worn a skirt, although I wanted to. I keep thinking that I have fat legs. And even though my mother says that I hide an awesome figure, how can I trust my mother's words? I mean, I mean, they're not objective, right? As for my father, it's all bad. My dad was never any different. He's so simple, always indulging mother. He works, but I don't even know where. My father is a good man, but he's boring. I have no idea how my mom lived with him for so many years and didn't go crazy. But one day, I learned something. This secret changed my entire consciousness and influenced my future. Once again, my mother asked me why I didn't go to Ellie's party. She was our neighbor. She moved into a new house a few blocks away and gathered all the kids she knew to hang out. But I said I had homework to do. But my mom insisted. She said I should relax a little. Okay, I went there without wanting to. There were a lot of people at the party. All jostling, dancing, but I didn't care for it. I found a spot by the pool, took some punch, and sat down where no one could touch me. Then a guy came up to me. He called himself Alex. We started talking, and after he heard my last name, he asked what my parents' names were. After answering, he began to shake my hand, said that he had long wanted to meet me. I thought he was crazy. Alex ran away and after 20 minutes came running with friends. They surrounded me and began to get acquainted. I didn't understand what was going on and tried to run away from there, but they caught up with me. And when I asked them if they were confusing me with someone else, Alex asked me if I wasn't going to the races. What races? Well, the White Wolf race. Who? They grabbed me by the arm, put me in the car, and took me somewhere. I didn't understand what was going on at all. And then we arrived at this place. A field opened up in front of me. There were so many people there. People cleared the track and stood on the sides. It was a real race, without rules. It smelled of burnt rubber and gasoline. We took our seats at the very end and watched. Two cars were standing at the start, and after the whistle, the fight began. There were dangerous stunts, but in the end, the white car won the black one. Out came the winners. My parents. What? Alex happily patted me on the shoulder and said, They won again. Man, I love your dad. I was in shock. After everyone had left, I went over to them. Can you imagine the look on my dad's face? All my life, I thought that he was this quiet guy. But it turns out that he is not just a racer, but a street racer. And more than that, he is the king of the White Wolf Gang. This gang is engaged in local shady affairs and sometimes arranges this kind of race. And I only found out after 17 years. There was a lively conversation at home. I'm the king's daughter, and in real life, I'm a loser? My parents were silent. They looked at me guiltily and explained this by saying that they did not want to involve me in the other side of their lives. Well, no, now you just have to tell me, I told them. Since then, it has been several months. I managed to participate in some of their cases. Once I went back to watch the races. Only I did not go, but I was in the first row. 
I was introduced to many people, all of whom respected my parents, and it gave me so much confidence. In general, I became more relaxed, changed my style, still wore jeans, cut my hair and painted my lips red. Now I wasn't on the list of losers at school because I was the king's daughter. Just like that, you're living your life and then you learn something interesting about your ancestral life. Tell me, have you ever found out a secret about your parents? And how did they react to this? They react to this. They react.